Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, in between episodes, we did some rest and I took my party, um, this time with Baron instead of, uh, Jung <laughs> uh, the new guy, uh, the, the priest. And we went north, oh, and there we had an encounter, as it wasn't any demons to get rid of, but some people in green with different names. Um, I thought we will start looking at it now. Okay, so let's start. Who's the guy in charge? I don't know. Let's see. Through the mist you spot the flickering flames of a campfire, three figures wrapped in crusader cloaks are huddled next to it. Without smiling forth, a brash, dark-haired halfling, and a delicate-looking woman who appears to be very young. Mm -hmm. There is the dwarf, there is the halfling, there is the woman. The crackling campfire is driving away the bleak fog and promising warmth and, and rest for tired legs. Noticing you, the halfling's hands, hand jerks towards his weapon, but then he relaxes. Hey, it's the commander himself. Don't just stand there. Have a seat by the fire. It's a bit damp today. You might as well dry off at least. In an Amicable gesture, he passes you a large mug that smells of freshly brewed tea. Okay. We can make a knowledge world check. We have about 50% chance. Or a perception check. Yeah, let's make the perception check first. The location for the camp has was chosen wisely. It's safe and quiet here. No tracks in sight. But we found them. <laughs> I mean, it can't be too uh, well placed. I mean, <laughs> we just ran there <laughs> and found them. But an odd feeling of wrongness lances through you like a sting from an angry wasp. Something isn't right. Okay. It's quiet. Here, all right, there's the grave. I don't know why, but I don't like the feel of this place. It makes my scales stand on end. Hmm. Enemy territory, sit by the campfire, draw your weapon. Well, let's make the knowledge world check as well. And let's fail. Frontline scouting party. Our seniors sent us ahead to look for ambushes. We've been walking all day, so we're making a people. Go ahead, help yourself to some tea. It's an honor for us to be sharing a campfire with the commander. Well, I'm not sure. The dusty boots, the patched cloaks, and the mess kits lying next to the campfire, all mark these three as seasoned scouts. Road smile blossoms on Seal's face. I never thought we'd run into such jovial companion company out here. I don't suppose you guys have anything stronger than tea in your canteens? Toriel sm look, she smiles even brighter. Well, we are it, uh, what, what do I say? Paranoid. Paranoid. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Rubbing his hands excitedly, Wolchiff casts a hopeful look at the mug of tea and at you, Chief. Just you know, just so you know, walking away from campfires where folks give you free food is a sin in the eyes of the gods. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably before we sit down there, let's look after names. 
realm, proudly lifting his chin, which bears a white scar, the halfling says, I'm Sergeant Realm, the leader of this gang of daredevils. You can tell by Realm's appearance that he's a fighter. He bought a nose that's been broken more than once. Well-fitted gear, a gutsy spark in, in the eyes. All the hallmarks of a feisty, courageous warrior. Okay. Involve grunts and grins. Why would you call our hero heroics called a gang realm? I'm Tran, foot soldier, cook, quartermaster, and the mother hen of this law. And the one who sets up the tent for Asti. Given that she doesn't even have the muscle to drive a stake into the ground. With a smirk, Tran glances at the woman who immediately turns red in the face. The sweet and terribly young cleric opens her mouth to say something, but shuts it immediately and blushes even more. Finally, she mutters sheepishly, I'm Asti, pleased to, I mean, at your service, Commander. Hmm. Aren't you scared, camped out here in enemy territory? You wound me, Commander. I've walked many roads. I know a good spot for a camp when I see one. Even if a whole column of cultists marched by, they wouldn't think of checking this place. In the meantime, we would watch quietly and count every last one. Okay. Orally embarrassed, Asti adopts a serious tone and comments in Trent's direction. You and your Two comrades greet her remark with a burst of laughter. Hmm. Yeah, well, we don't see anything. Anything. I mean, we are paranoid, but on the other hand, why not? And, I mean, I'm a fox. So, what could happen? That we're offering, the halfling moves with such deftness that you barely notice the warm mug of tea that appears in your hands. The tea's fragrance is gorgeous. Law nature, hmm, plus 17. I can tell the commander knows more about cooking than some. Tran leans over to you and says weightily, it, it's at Holly. I bought it from a merchant from Abdom. Worth every cow coin, though, huh? Cat Holly. The name sounds vaguely familiar, but you've never heard of it being used in cooking. You seem to recall that it causes delirium, apparently being this far away from the discipline of Officers the scouts decided to indulge in some happy dreams. Hmm. They want me to drink something dreary, uh, something chantingly fragrant. Hmm. Hmm. Will we still be able to beat them? If we're taken out by the tea. Ah, we just, we just saved the game. So why not? From the very first sip, you feel sweet warmth spread through your body. The drink drives away the chill in your bones. Blessed silence, which every soldier knows the treasure, settles in your mind. As he stutters as her gaze drifts away. Commander... If you don't mind, I could heal your wounds and maybe cast a fortifying spell. Ah, I'm not wounded. Esty, when speaking with the commander, remember to breathe. You'll choke at this rate. If we really seem to have pretty good banter. 
As in her face, a deep red shoots Tran a furious look and flashes him a surprisingly nasty expression. For a moment, her mouth appears as though it's filled with sharp teeth, and her blushing skin is nothing more than a layer of powder caked over lifeless gray skin underneath. But you blink, and the illusion is gone. Okay. This is discomforting. You said it, Commander. I'd like to see the Joker who put it in Tran's head that he could woo ladies like that. The fairer sex just love men with a good sense of humor, don't they, Tran? Worm's comment makes Tran blush in turn. Uh, no, I wouldn't. And I'm not attacking them. You attempt to stand, but your legs give out from exhaustion. Your whole body protests against the mere thought of going anywhere. Hmm. Succeeded at a will check. This sudden weakness you're feeling is very suspicious. A sickly sweet scent coming from the mug in your hands leads you to think that you have been drugged. Probably. Come now, Commander. Where's the sense in going ahead of the scouts? What if you walk right into the enemy lines? You'll lose your head for nothing, and the army won't last long without you. Get a night's rest with us and set out first thing in the morning. Well, I don't take the assistance from FD. So let's attack. Smirking brazenly, the halfling licks his lips with a surprisingly long pustule covered red tongue. Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that? He didn't buy it. Enough of this masquerade then. Everyone, no more games. Oops. Poisonous foam bubbles in your stomach and retching painfully, you vomit up the wild liquid you've ingested. Okay, doesn't sound good. The figures <clears throat> by the fire ripple and transform. Three gray-haired and dark-skinned elves watch you with mocking sneers. Their twisted grimacing faces look demonic. From the, from the haze, more previously unseen shadows materialize. They are all just as loathsome and unsettling. The campfire emits a sickly, sweet, intoxicating smell, and in the squat cattle, you see some slimy mushrooms swimming in a disgusting, boiling slurry. So, okay, who are you? Let's ask them before we kill them. The one who was pretending to be the halfling Whelm makes a face mimicking you in an obnoxious voice. Who are you? We are servants of the Lord Viscari, and you are a pitiful and you are the pitiful insect that got caught in our web. Well the elf who was masquerading as the cleric Asti gives you a lecherous smile enthusiastically dragging her tongue along the blade of her dagger. Did you like sweet little Asti? Did you want to play with her in your tent? Well, probably not. Your mom Sila looks at those who appear to be trusted allies a moment ago with open disgust. How did I not see you for what you are right from the start? Dumb paladin, you really think your ability to sense evil can't be fooled? Lady Animora taught us long ago how to trick the likes of you. What was the point of this charade? Lady Animora desires your head and will gladly deliver it. Okay. I love it when Prey tries to fight back.
Okay. How strong are they? A draw model. Interesting. So, okay, Tran is a level 6 fighter. He's a neutral elf. Interesting. Esti is a level 6 fighter. Velm is a level 5 rogue. Level 5 Magus and a level 5 Magus. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's do this and attack the. Hmm, that's that. Nenyo, hmm. Let's cast the hate. And let's take a step back. Mm-hmm. I'll take a step back and then I'll each time the creature successfully struck uh... Yeah, okay. No. Hmm, there is someone. Um, a drow knife master. Ugh, doesn't sound nice. Okay. Let's do a black first. Sila, where are you? You're here? Okay, then let's do some. Chief. Pig. Yeah, of course. Hit me, you bad person. Let's kill the Marcus next. Or well, probably not. Okay. Uh, let's just say... We want these two. Knocked out of the fight. Hmm. Interesting, she got out of it there. See the okay. And we'll chef. Mm. 
another one. Interesting. <laughs> a critical hit. And there is another crossbow man. Interesting. And then you how about just think this guy will with an acid splash or not. Ah, okay. Let's heal myself again. Siva, kill. Thank you. Old Chief, uh, move around like here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, get up there. You'll have to go around. Interesting. Okay, then my dear pig, let's move here, 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 <laughs> and here. Okay, let's build this guy up there. Ooh, a magical bow. Cold iron masterwork composite long bow. <laughs> Let's connect all and everything and even more. No, uh, What's the diamond dot? Okay. Oh, wait, why? Is there another guy? My dear Philomucus. Oh, there is another one. Interesting. Okay. 
okay, Darren, you will heal me. Ah, go away. Let my dear Nenyo in peace. Yeah, of course. Try to hit the pig. You will fail. Thank you. Let's collect all we can find. Okay, uh, anything else? This was not a random encounter. This was some really, really bad thing. Bad demons, bad, bad demons. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, while waiting for the loading screen, I'll fetch myself something new to drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Nightingale Grove, whatever this is. Near the border of the world wound is nearly untouched by the foul energies of the Abyss. Yeah, well, let's look there. Let's enter. Most of us are already tired. Grands of that, that is mine, that it's mine, yours, well, watch me, wait, someone's here, run! Nobody's running, draw, draw your weapons and fight you cowards or I'll cut you down myself, okay. This looks like a gnome. Marauder's Alchemist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More Marauders. Okay, let's do the following. We can do this as well. Um, so, wait, what does this do? Is it just for one hit? Paladin can call out the blah, 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 blah against evil. As a swift action, the Paladin chooses one target with inside to smite. First of all, let's channel positive energy to heal stuff. Okay. 
Clinton nous va Ah, we found someone. Peak. Getting this guy. If possible. Naughty bot fast. You are. Hmm. Do this entanglement. Why not? Make every strike count. Let's move up there and let's do it first. Then you how about another hate spell? Then move away a bit. Old chief. Really stupid kind of mm -hmm. you're great. Get this world out of my way. Um Let's do this. And then just try to kill the alchemist. Interesting. That we didn't hit. Okay, then you're. Really? Yeah, whatever. Okay, you'll have to go inside. Ooh. Where's this guy? Okay, first of all, let's do a lay on hand self. Next, let's move up and kill this guy. Okay, let's not do it. Pig, you're great. You didn't get there. Let's try this way. You won't survive me. Mm hmm. Mr. Darren, do something. 
。燃料、あ、you、could use your b o w n o あ、uh, come on. How can you, how can I get rid of this? I don't want this, I want the bow. <sighs> Because you'll have to go inside this. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, did you do the repeat say? Interesting. Okay, pig. Kill him. Thank you. You're so great. You are so great. You are the pig. Let's move down there. Let's take everything we'll find. Ooh, nice. What's that? Moss pottage. There's some more loot. Yes. Yeah. Really? Why does Darren go inside? Not someone who's. The horse. That's nice. Can we talk to the horse? Let's connect everything. And something more. What's that? A falcata. Interesting. Can we talk to the horse? No. No, we can't. Uh, map. Let's look at this. Okay, um, Mr. Darren, let's do some looping. Group. Let's look around here a bit further. Although I think we found everything that we can find here. Okay. Around here. Really, we'll have to go around there. Here is an exit, okay. So we probably found everything that we were looking for. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Let's take the accent. Okay. Sosian, that's his name. Okay. <clears throat> Before we go on, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll see each other again soon. Until then, bye.